How's it going out there, K County Accountability? Um, coming at you guys today, uh, a news article out of the fire, Ponca City Fire Marshal being arrested for violation of a protective order. Okay? One thing I found find funny is this is a double standard, okay? Because I was charged with felony stalking for, I mean, like the only thing, the only evidence they have is the word of my, my ex which I'm sorry, but I'm going to absolutely prove that she's a complete liar. But this man, they have him on video. They have him, you know, multiple witnesses seeing him, like in, in using his title, his job title and stuff, to be able to do this, to be able to commit stalking in violation of a protective order. And, you know, I'm sorry, but a public official like that, especially using his um, title and his job as a way to do the crime um and then it, like and i'm going to share the story here you know in the description um and the city attorney says whether they're trying to decide whether they're going to punish him you know he's going to receive punishment from the city are you fucking kidding me right now this is a straight double standard straight double standard because they have way more evidence against him that he committed it they have fucking video he admitted to it i mean um Come on now. And he gets a misdemeanor protective order violation. Like, I'm pretty sure the laws have changed and what he did was stalking. Which is actually fucking the definition of stalking. He even states that he followed her around. Like, come the fuck on now. But you're going to charge me with something that all you have is the word of this person. No evidence at all. And then he gets a misdemeanor crime. I get charged twice, and my fucking uh, bond was twice his. The second time was three times. $5,000 bond? Like, what the fuck? This is double standard right here, guys. This is the absolute definition of a double standard. Because he is a public official, and because of the title he held as mayor of Newkirk, and then as the uh, fire marshal for Ponca City, he is able to uh, get a slap on the wrist. Basically, like, you know, if it was you and I, well, obviously, you know, I show that, I mean, they file stalking, felony stalking charges with no evidence against me. Him, they have video, they have him fucking admitting to it, um, and he gets just a violation of a protective order. Yeah, that makes fucking sense. Sorry for my cursing, guys. This is fucking bullshit, though. You know, I received two felony stalking on the word of one fucking person. Absolutely zero fucking evidence because uh, never once has a cop ever seen my fucking vehicle over anywhere near her fucking house or anything like that. All the evidence they have against me for this stalking shit is the word of my ex. That's it. And I'm facing two felony fucking stalking because of that. Because of the word of her. But this man is caught on fucking video... And caught by multiple witnesses. I mean, come the fuck on. Using his work vehicle to do this. City fucking vehicle. What the fuck, guys? They are held to a totally different set of rules than we are. As this shows. They are not under the same rules we are. They're not. As we see. You guys take care. Have a great weekend. Always film the police.